Hi, and welcome to another video on the Targeted Individual Program. Okay, so the previous video I stated that I may go down to the Social Security Office, which I did indeed do. I uh, got down there, um, explained to the counter person that I was given a appointment date and I got the letter on the day of the appointment and um, she basically looked at me and said well you know I don't know why they would give you an appointment date so soon especially being that you just filled out the application online okay now I filled out the application like I said on Friday the 9th and they sent uh, by Monday okay they've already made a determination that I was ineligible for Social Security benefits so um, when I said to her I said how could you guys make that determination you guys haven't even viewed my medical records or anything like that and she said well it's just it's just the word and the way I said it, it can't be the wording because I'm, I'm reading it as it states okay it says that we spoke to you and I said to her no one spoke to me about any uh, you know no one called me no one spoke to me about anything I said so I'm here and when I explained to her that I had called earlier and I couldn't get through and I had spoke to somebody on one of the other offices um, she said I told them that person told me to come in she said that person told me just to go and um, just give them the information and anyway so she went to speak to her supervisor and they, she came back and they were like okay well they will see you okay so I'm like okay fine so I waited quite a long time all right quite a long time and when my name was finally called okay the uh, person who was interviewing me okay basically said to me she looked me in my face and she said oh you're the one that nobody wants to take right that she said she said nobody wanted to take me because I could have been out of there I was in there for about four and a half hours okay and I could have been out of there in less time but she said to me no one wanted to take me in that office okay and so this woman now you know she has I mean you should see this woman she had these long nails that was twirling and you know I don't I don't know how she was able you know to do her work but she it was very slow because she actually had to use a pencil right to actually type with she couldn't use her fingers because her nails were too long and so I said to myself, they must, be, they mu it must be a reason why no one wanted to take me except f for her, right? And that being said, what one of the things that they try to do to you is they try to agitate you and aggravate you, okay? So, and I was getting pretty aggravated, but I was just like, you know what? Let me just keep my cool. Let me just. Um, you know get through this process uh, you know and, and it was quite a process it was a very long long process and um, and sure enough you know after about I would say interviewing her took about two hours maybe two hours and a couple of minutes okay which shouldn't because I had filled out all the information online except for I was missing a couple of things but you know it was very you know it, it shouldn't you know I'm gonna go back and uh, bring in those documents but everything else was filled out online and she said to me she said you know I'm glad you fill this out online because it makes my job easier but it just took a very long time because of you know the fact that she couldn't type with her fingers because her nails were so long so I mean what, what do you expect right but you know I knew this was all part of the the thing going in and you know as I left um, you know I, I, I went to the, the McDonald's to get something to eat and sure enough as soon as I entered the McDonald's the perps came in one by one okay and and I said you know this must be the reason why they kept me at this at that place for so long at the social graph for so long because you know usually when they do that it means that they have a particular script that's set up and sure enough we're I'm walking to the bus and sure enough um, you know they started with the police you know the uh, synchronization with the police uh, as soon as I get to I'm, I'm walking towards the end of a block and the police car comes turn and just stops right 
it, it turns, it could just it just stopped just so that I can see them. So, I, you know, you know, some time ago, um, I was on the train and and I think somebody was trying to give me a hint in terms of who was doing this to me, and you know, the person kind of they were holding out a, a NYPD keychain, okay. And they just basically took it out of their pocket and they kind of dangled it in front of me. And, you know, now, now that I think back at it, and especially with the amount of harassment I get from the NYPD, that, you know, I, you know my targeting could very well be based, uh, based uh, from uh, the NYPD, some people within the, uh, the, the New York City Police Department um, who are basically participating in, the, in this mind control um, program okay now another thing too is that you know because uh they want they've been trying to prevent me from going to uh, file for disability they have been sending me subliminal messages about um you know uh taking my kids away basically you know like if i go pick up my son you know uh I'll be arrested it's the same script they've been doing to me for the past you know over 10 years now they've been doing this okay so as i um and uh came on my block uh, you know, they had uh, these two police officers coming out of this this house. You know, at the same time as I'm approaching the house, they come they come out. And again, it's the synchronization. So they set these things up. Um, you know, prior to that, as I got off the bus um, and I turned the corner, uh, two police officers approached me. Okay, but they didn't say nothing to me. They just approached me, and I just kept walking because I'm like, you know, if you want to, if you if you're going to approach me like that, then you know, if you're not going to say nothing, I I'm not going to respond. I'm I'm definitely not going ain't talking to you. Um, so I just, you know, it's like I I I kept walking, and I had uh, two kids with me. And 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 again, like I said, I, and I get to my block, and you know, approaching, uh, walking up the, the sidewalk, walking up the block uh, as I approach this house, two police officers come out. Uh, again, it's like that synchronization. So they do that with the police to kind of, you know, uh, you know, basically kind of, uh, um, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Basically to reinforce that um, those uh, negative messages of being arrested or being, you know, uh, being incarcerated, stuff like that. So, you know, I just, I was like, whatever. I was like, listen, you know, like I said, um you, you know you want to uh carry out your your psyops program you know i've been going through this for over 10 years and you know you you send me they've been sending me all these subliminal messages about being killed and all this stuff and 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 you know what look that's why i do these videos i do these videos because had i if i don't do these videos okay and let's say something was to happen to me Okay, there would be no record of me ever speaking about this, all right? And this is what these people do. You see, they, they want to silence the TI, the targeted individual. They want to silence us. Because so, when they silence us, then, you know what, they can come pick you up, in, put you in the squad car, put you in jail. I mean, if you go to FATNET.org, it talks about how the people who create these systems and who uh, uh, perpetrate these systems on victims how they try to silence and, and and basically intimidate and silence those that are in these type of coercive mind control program and because they they profit from it that's that's simply it because they profit from it okay so obviously they don't like i said they don't want me to to go on disability because for some reason these people feel that they can destroy my life all right and that, and 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 uh, you know, basically destroy my life. Try to destroy my uh, my mind. Okay, using coercive mind control tactics. Um, you know, and using directed energy weapons as well as remote neural monitoring. And so, and as well as voice to skull and silent sound, which is what they call silent subliminal. Okay, so I'm not going to remain silent while you do this to me. And I'm talking to my perpetrators who have uh, put me in this program, as well as other uh, targeted individuals, that, you know, you will not silence me. You can use the police. You can, you know, you can send, you know, your thugs to threaten me or what have you. You can do all of that. But one thing you will not do is that you will not silence me.